in this tutorial, we're going to add uh, to the stem wall and the footing that you can see right here in the 3D drawing uh, where my cursor is. Uh, we're going to add what is called the seal plate, which uh, is used to attach uh, the floor framing to the stem wall, to the foundation. And then this board right here is what is called the, the rim board or rim joist and then we're going to add a whole series of joists in here so you see that I've added already some uh, to the sides of here uh, there's a seal plate but I haven't put the joist in yet okay so what makes one of those boards uh, what makes this a rim joist well the joists are going to run across this way we always want to run the joist in usually the shortest distance uh, so we can use the least amount of material um, to span that distance to end those joists as they go from one side to the other is a board that kind of caps them off and that's called the rim joist okay so uh, I put one rim joist in here and one seal plate here and what I'm going to do is add those now to the other side so let's uh, let's zoom in here and what we're going to do is use a beam uh, so architecture uh, I'm sorry structure beam uh, even though this isn't technically a beam it's a joist uh, or a seal plate we're gonna that's what we're gonna use and we're gonna use uh, in your file there should be if you click on dimension lumber there should be a 2x6 plate okay I had to make this file from a 2x6 uh, and the difference in the plate and the 2x6 is is one is standing up vertically and the other is laying down flat okay and to if we look at a 2x6 let's look at a 2x6 a conventional 2x6 uh, we'll see that the D or the depth, okay, is five and a half inches. That's how tall it is, right? And then its width, B, is one and a half inches, and that's a standard dimension, uh, what we call the, uh, the uh, nominal dimension of, the, of a two by six. But we want that laying down. So what I did is I duplicated uh, that particular I added that type and duplicated it and created then uh, from that duplication let's look at it uh, so I duplicated it gave it a new name 2 by 6 plate just by hitting the duplicate money and renaming it and then the B now is the width is five and a half inches right so it's laying flat and it now has a, a depth of one and a half inches so that's what we're going to use to do the seal plate here and so I'm just going to select that I'm going to go in and uh, beam where is my uh, I'm going to do a beam. I'm going to do it in the stem wall uh, plan right here. One thing you have to be careful of is that you you are in the appropriate okay uh, file. The other thing is is that I need to determine uh, once again if we look at this is what it looks like in section. I'm going to open my uh, Let's cancel this right now so I can show you. So here's the seal plate in section sitting on the outside and then lined up with it is that vertical two by six. Okay. Uh, in this case, this is a, a joist because this section is cut through right here and this member is a joist. This is a rim, uh, a rim joist. Okay. Um, so we're going to put this seal plate down right here on this stem wall. Uh, and to do that we're going to place it we're going to once again go back let's let's get in the stem wall here and then we, there's a series of settings that we need to do first of all uh, how are we going to set this uh, in the Z are we setting it by the bottom of that plate okay are we setting it by the bottom of the plate here or are we I'm going to move this section. I'm sorry. I'm going to move this section over here. Let's 
so that I can have both of these up at the same time. So section, so we're going to go stem wall, structure, beam, okay, and this plate. And so we need to do these settings. So uh, right here, this is cancel. Uh, this is the top of the stem wall, and we're going to set this uh, beam. We're going to set the beam. on top of the stem wall and so at the height of the st of the of the stem wall so the reference is the top of the stem wall we want the bottom of this plate right uh, to be on that so we're going to set it by the bottom uh, we don't want any offset okay so we're going to set that to zero Okay, and then uh, the Y justification, do we want it to be placed on the right or the left as we apply it? And I think it should be a right justification, and we'll check it out when we do this. So we're going to go right justification, and then we'll apply those. And now I should be able to uh, do that. And I'm going to use, uh, instead of drawing a line to place it, I'm just going to use this select an existing line. And I'm going to right here should be the the this edge right here of my stem wall. You can see right there that's there's the footing. That's this edge right here, the footing. And I'm going to select that. And you'll notice that it placed. Okay. If you can't see that, all you see is a line when you place that then it's probably the settings your are too coarse so if i put this on course you'll notice that it just shows it as a center line of that uh plate uh, but if i put it on medium or fine okay we're going to actually see those plates and so if we go back into our section five now okay we should see that plate okay and that was the only other one we needed. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put another rim joist uh, on top of that plate that we just set there. Uh, so we're going to go in here and we're going to go beams again. But this time we're going to, instead of horizontal, we're going to use that two by six vertically. And we're going to set it to the right. Okay, and uh, we want it set by the bottom. But this time, okay. But this time, we do want it offset. We're going to set it by this bottom of it right here, right? But it needs to be one and a half inches up from the, the top of the stem wall, okay? So we're going to go back in here, structural beam. Oh, we need to pick a view that it, you can draw in. And then, uh, so structure, beam. And then, uh, so we're going to use right justification again. And then we're going to use an offset value at the bottom. And we'll use an offset of 1.5 inches. Oops. 1.5 inches. Okay. And we're going to apply that. And now, uh, automatic top of stem wall. I'm going to use the, that line function again. Uh, select selecting that outside edge of the framing okay and if we look at the stem wall we have now got our plate up there okay uh, <clears throat> voila so now we have both if we look at our 3d okay uh, we've got uh, a joist Okay, and of course these aren't connected right because this should be in front of this. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my stem wall here and correct it. So I'm going to select that member, which is that member right there, right? And then I'm going to move it over using these little lines here, okay, so that it actually goes all the way 
to the other side. Okay, so it's overlapping. And then I'm going to pull my joist back so that it's right there. Okay, and that's the way it should look. The joist should be going in. This should be capping because you'll see when I draw the rest of the joist, they're going to be going this way. And then if we look down at the other end of it, we'll see a similar situation. It needs to be corrected. Okay. Uh, we don't have a joist yet, but we're going to pull this one over. And so I'm just going to zoom out and zoom in. All I'm doing is using the middle wheel uh, to do that. There is, once again, that 2 by 6 I'm going to grab the end of it, pull it out till it ends there. And now I'm ready to add the rest of the joist. Okay, So I've got one joist in here. And what I want to do, I've got that one joist. Let's go back down here to the other end. And what I'd like to do is copy this uh, every 16 inches. Let's say this is going to be 2 by 6 joist every 16 inches. And so what I'm going to do is copy this 16 inches in that direction. And to, make, and to copy that, uh, I could individually copy it. Uh, doing multi, multiple copies, or I can use what we know is a, a, an array. So what I'm going to do is array this, and I want a linear array. That's what this is, a linear array versus a radial array. Uh, I could a group and associate them uh, so that they're created as a group, but I'm not going to. Okay, uh, I'm, I think probably, I don't know, uh, 40. I'm going to guess 40. I, I don't know how many of the these I'm actually going to need, but I'm going to guess 40. Okay. And then uh, active dimensions. And then what I want to do is move to the sec second one. So I'm going to select the outside edge of uh, that first joist right there. And then I'm going to go out here 16 inches, which is one foot four inches, right? Uh, and then it should lay out, okay, a whole series. Now, what it did is it went back to the edge right here, okay, uh, which is not really what I wanted to do. It should have gone all the way out to the edge here, okay? And so I'm going to undo that, okay? And I'm just going to copy one of these, and I'll show you. For some reason, if I copy this once, so I'm going to copy this using the copy command and go out here 16 inches again. I'm going to copy it, and it did the same thing, but I'm going to correct it. Okay. So I'm going to pull it out here so that it goes all the way to flush with the rim board and do the same thing down here, flush to the rim board. And once I've done that, the time before, if I arrayed this now, uh, it it went to where I set it initially. So let's see if it does it again. So we're going to go in here, array it, and once again, we'll just pick one side, and we'll say, put this side here, 16 inches in this direction right there. Okay. Oh, forgot to put number we wanted we want 40 of them and we want it done by second make sure you check that and this last is not selected and then let's go out here to one foot four okay and you'll notice that for some reason now they're out there at the rim joist <coughs> okay all the way out to the rim joist now i don't know if that's enough of them or too many uh it turns out it appears to be too many, okay? Um, not by many, but by a few, okay? So we've got this rim joist, and this one appears to be off the edge, so I need to move it back. So I'm going to move it back uh, one and a half inches, so I'm just going to use a move command architecture. So we don't have an equal increment of 16 inches, right? So... Uh, or we could do it a, a modify. We could do it a line if we wanted to. It wants me to save the project again. 
And so we're going to align uh, this edge to this edge of the, uh, of the, so here, oh, I selected that. Oh, let's just do a move. It'll be easier. And we're going to move this, and we want to move it from here, one and a half inches that direction. Okay, so now it's in there. Okay. Um, for some reason, this plate uh, is not out where it should be. So I'm going to move it too. Okay. So we're going to go. Uh, modify. Move. Move. From here. To there. Okay. Oh, they're tied together and they keep moving each other. So uh, I'll have to figure out what to do there. I'm going to delete these since I don't need those. And I'll just go ahead and delete this one too. And we'll just copy this one over. So I'm going to hit, click that, hit modify, copy, and we're going to copy the edge of this one over to the edge of the seal plate right there. Now it's correct. Okay. So now we have everything but our decking to put in. So now let's put decking in, and that's going to be pretty easy. Um, we're going to go into, once again, uh, architecture in this case. Uh, we're going to put a floor in. Okay. And it's a structural floor. And I've already uh, included for you a uh, you can see wood joist with the seal plate right there. Okay, that's a, a whole a wall section. But what we need is plywood. Okay, and so I've added plywood in here. I once again uh, created this type by going into edit uh, and duplicating an existing uh, floor system, and then going in here and setting the structure. Here, well, I'll, I'll go back and show you. Uh, we'll just take this generic, uh, and if I edit that type, I could duplicate it, give it another name. Then I went in to edit here, uh, added plywood into the materials right there, right? And then set this at three quarters of an inch. And that's really all I needed to do. Now I have plywood. Uh, and so I'm going to now add plywood to the whole top of this structure. So we're not going to do it in four by eight sheets like it would normally be done. We're going to do it as uh, just one big uh, plywood structural system. So I'm going to click on and snap to that corner there and snap to this corner here. I'm going to lock this so that if I happen to move any of those joists or rim joists, then my decking will move with it. I'm going to accept that. Oh, top of stem wall. Okay. No, it should be at the finished floor, first finished floor. I should have set that to begin with, but I think since I caught it, it'll go to the first finished floor. So I'm going to say, go for it. And then I can look at my section and check it out. And sure enough, I caught it in time. So it's now up here where it should be. Here are the joists. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add some beams in here to support the joists because we need some beams along these uh, right here. Okay. And we need some uh, uh, piers because this is called a pier and beam uh, construction. Okay.